So what do you do if you're running five wide and you are getting blitz creeped? Well, we're going to talk about that in today's video. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's uh, YouTube video breakdown. And um, if you've never been to my channel before, my channel focuses in on helping you get better at Madden 21 through tips and tricks videos like this one. So if you're it's your first time watching, real quick before you click off, I want to tell you about my text message membership. Now, what my text message membership is, it's completely free for you to join it. All you have to do to join is shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. And here's the deal with the text membership. It's 100% free, but every single week what I do is I update the text members. I shoot you guys a text, and I tell you, I give you a link, video link. That video link is for a full scheme breakdown that I do for my guys every single week. So last week we covered the ace slot offset. The week before that we covered, um, I believe the gun, um, I believe the gun split close. Uh, Patriots. The week before that we covered the Carolina gun bunch. Uh, we've talked about the big nickel over G, and most videos are over an hour long. So what I've heard some feedback on I've got from my members is that. These videos have helped them more than some people's ebooks have. They've been more in depth, more thorough, more thought out, more planned, more executed. And so here's the bottom line I think that this text message membership will help you get better at the game. And so if you want to pick it up, literally all you got to do, pull out your cell phone right now, text me. My number is 812 216 3644. Say, What's up, Cody? Thanks for so much for what you do. And uh, I'd like to receive your videos. And then I'll shoot them to you every single week. And they update every single week. That's all you got to do. Literally takes five seconds. So go ahead and do that. Let's jump into the video breakdown now. What I want to cover today is I want to cover inside wheels. But I want to put a little bit different of a spin on it. Um, because I want to talk about wheel routes. I don't think very many people have talked about wheel routes, to be quite honest with you, this year. Um, a lot of not, not very many people use them. Not very many people use them. Uh, so let's talk about it. So inside wheels. And what we're going to do is we're going to use... Um, America's favorite blitzes from the Dime 146. Uh, and so I'm going to show you cover two sync. And then I'm also going to show you, obviously, some heavy pressure blitzes and things that they can do. So this right here is what you're going to fear. I mean, this, this would be what I would fear. If I was running five wide, I would fear this right here. I would fear this guy standing right there. And at the snap of the ball, if I'm not careful... I'm going to get sacked. You see how quick the pressure got in on me? See that? Well, what we're going to do today is we're going to show you um, how to dot this from five wide. From five wide. So we're going to show you that. Uh, so we'll show you again. Here's the blitz. Literally, all they're going to do is they're going to spread their line. Um, spread their linebackers, right? Get these guys wide. And they're just bringing this guy off the edge. That's all they're doing here, right? They might slide this guy in to make it look the same. But effectively, and then from there, they're going to adjust. Now, from what I've seen, most of the time, you're going to see them user on this left side guy. Most of the time, this is going to be their user. They might blitz this guy to get extra pressure. But in general, this is what you're going to see. It's a five-man blitz. In my opinion, is probably the best blitz in Madden. Um, just because of how consistent it is and also how tough it is to pick up and how fast it gets on you um, from a spread five-wide feel, which is what we're trying to do here. And we're actually going to beat this uh, simpler than you thought. So with wheel routes, the key to wheel routes is um, hard flats, right? If they run hard flats, you've got really good opportunities for wheel routes. If they don't run any flats, you have good opportunities for wheel routes. But what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of this and use slant routes. And so what you'll see is I'm just going to slant Devontae Adams against this defense. And what you'll see here is there's a pocket to throw right at the snap of the ball. If there's a pocket or a window to throw that ball, I'll throw it every single time. I won't think twice about it. The ball is automatically going out there. And we'll show you what I'm talking about once more. This is coverage you sink, right? I'm not making any adjustments to the coverage. I'm not blitzing anybody doing nothing. Most of the time, they're going to be usering over the middle of the field. Understand that about Dime 146. Most of the time, they're going to be usering that linebacker, right? But he's just on a simple vert hook. But you notice with the spacing, he can't get out there in time. And what that wheel route is going to do is any flat zone, curl flat zone, soft squat zone, you name it, any zone is going with that route. Any zone. Every defense has principles for, for wheel routes, and this is what makes them so effective. 
Now, uh, one thing I want to show you is I don't want the blitzkin in here because I just want to show you what this wheel route is going to do on the left side if you give it time um, to develop. You'll see here I can actually throw this. Let's say they drop back coverage from cover two. I can actually throw that once that once that handoff is is solidified. Another thing that you can do against this defense is you can basically use a combination of a couple things, right? Obviously, you're going to bring this guy in here. Again, you can do this. You can kind of have this guy right back in here. Maybe he's going that direction. But if you look on your left side, what they'll start doing is they'll start flying out. And I mean literally flying with their user to go stop the slant. I mean begging to stop the slant. They don't want you to throw the slant. If that's the case, work this backside route to Tonyan. Work that little snap throw. That route's there for you as well. So there's two quick reads against 9146. Now you might be asking, well, what if they man up? You know, what if they man up, right? What, what are we going to do then? If they man up, right? Let's say they do something like this. Right? They manned up the left side. Let's say they do that. Again, as long as as long as this left so left side corner blitzes at the snap, you should be fine to be able to hit that route to Devontae Adams, barring the safety being able to come down and make a play on the ball. So what you see right here, snap, throw it out there. And that time, I don't know what happened. Um, he made probably the best play of his career, it looks like. But what we'll do, and really what, what I think they're going to do, which would be harder to beat, would be this right here. If they man this guy up on the slot, because they know what you're doing ahead of time, right? They're planning, they're, they're adjusting. If they did something like that on that left side where they crisscrossed them, which I think you would see. I think you definitely could see. Uh, what you'll notice is this slant comes down. You see that it's still it's still a window to throw it. There's still a window to throw the slant. Now, you know, I'm not saying that it's – what what I don't want you to hear me say is – and one of the big things I do want you to hear me say is we have flats on both sides. If there's never not a flat zone, throw it, right, on both sides. If they're not running flats, throw the ball. Right, throw it, throw it, throw it. You'll see that the vertical stem on this route right here, um, there's all they're always going to switch onto the wheel call. They're always going to switch onto the wheel route. They're never not going to do that. Um, from cover to sink, from anything, I, I'm telling you, it does not matter. They will always switch on a wheel route in match coverage. So what that means is you can kind of take advantage of that. So watch, um, watch this right side now. You'll see right here, I should have a window, and again, there's that pressure coming in, so I, I should have hit Tunyon. But let's just say, you know, let's just say, for example, they do something like this. Um, and this is hypothetical, but I could totally see this happening. They bring this, they set up their blitz, right? And then they have this little swap coverage, right? And and we know that that, with the vert, and maybe they combine it with this. Just, you know, that might work. Um, you know, just to be, you know, again, and this is very adjusty, right? But just understand. So now what you're dealing with on this right side is this right here, but they know that you like to throw the ball to Robert Tunyon. So then what they do is they're going to take him away with, with, with um, manning him up. In something like, in a situation like this, you run this play, set your slant up, and what you'll see here is, oh, this window's now wide open. I can hit Lazard. Quick reads and throw. Quick read and throw. Uh, let me show you this. what this looks like in instant replay real quick. And again, these are these are we're, we're for, for, first focusing on uh, zone blitzes. What you'll see on the left side is you know you see there. I mean, if I wait, if I have like just a, if I wait just a little bit longer, I could probably hit that route. Um, you see the man up on Tunyon doesn't take him away on the second cut. So if they just try to man that up, you will be able to beat it. Um, obviously, but then on the back side, if you're taking a look here, you notice that the wheel route has pulled the flat, and now I can hit that window right in that little pocket against that cover two. Okay? So you have different options. So what they might start doing is they might start adjusting and saying, okay, well, what we're going to do now, because of what you've been doing, is we're going to go to something like this. We're going to go to cover three, right? Um, we got purples on both sides. We got yellows. You know, we, we, we should be good. Well, if there's no hard flat coverage, throw the wheel route every single time. Force them to hard flat 
And, f and here's the deal about wheel routes. This is what I want to focus on for just a second. Let's say there's no cover two. Let's say there's no cover two. Just, just, just hang with me here. Let's say there's no cover two. There's just hard flops. That's all they can do. There's no cover two. Watch how wide open these things are going to be. On the left side, throw it out. Hard right pass lead. You're going to beat cover. You're going to beat a hard flat. If the hard flat doesn't come from the slot corner, it's not getting out there fast enough. It's not going to be able to work. On another note, let's say that they're running hard flats on the left side. Let me show you this real quick. This is left side hard flat. Now watch, you're running a slant combination. That's a vertical stemming route. It's five yards or, or more, right? Five step slant. So if you watch Marquez Vadas Santley here, watch the hard flat. I can throw this out into the left side once he get once he clears it. Um, once once he clears it. And again, what you have to understand about Dime 146, most of the time, this is the look you're going to be given. It's not going to be, they're not going to be out. You, that's not going to happen, right? Most of the time, this is the look. If this is the look right here, that flat is not going to be able to be played. They have to play cover two in order for this to be stopped. This is not going to work. The alignment, because you're in five wide, and this is why five wide I think is actually usable this year, look how far... Um, look, and I, I didn't get a good pass lead, but look, look how, how much room there really is to be able to throw that route on the left side. So let me show you this one more time and let me try to get a better pass lead from Rogers, but if they're sliding these guys in like this. Um, if they, obviously you just want to pick, pick, you know, if they blitz off the right edge, you want to throw off the right edge, but you might, you know, obviously you might not have that much time. Um, in a game to be able to understand that and, and, and read that. So what you're going to see here is I'm going to use my passing trajectories now, hard left outside, and I'm actually throwing a high pass to get the trajectory of the ball to travel a little bit over over that, that hard flat. If they run hard flats, even from a cover three, that's not going to work. Now let me show you something else that they can do. Let me show you something else they can do. They can run uh, cloud flats. Okay, so I just want to show this to you. This inside wheels is kind of my primary blitz beater, if you haven't figured that out. But um, what you see here, these are cloud flats. Look, they don't have a they don't have a chance. They, they don't have a chance at stopping that route. They don't. They don't have a chance. Most of the time, what people will do out of cover three as well, understand this, if they're blitzing you from cover three, they're going to oftentimes do what I'm about to do. They're going to take these outside corners and instead of leaving them in these outside thirds, because most of the time these outside thirds can get kind of manipulated, they're going to put them in deep halves. They're not going to put them in outside thirds. They're going to put them in deep halves. Well, if they're in a deep, if that outside corner on the left side is in a deep half, watch this wheel route. Wheel routes kill this coverage. Um, I need to I need to high point that. But wheel, wheel routes are going to kill that um, that type of coverage deep. If they do something like this, you know, and again, obviously everything else that you've already learned from this formation will apply. But what I want to show you here is this is pressure. This is heavy pressure, right? It's probably the best blitz in the game on both sides. Snap the ball. He's in a deep half. I'm going to throw the high point pass, and you see you're going to get that nice little secure pocket catch on the outside. So how do they stop this? Well, they're going to run me in. That's how they're gonna. That's how they're gonna do it. So let's go out and we're gonna grab a man-to-man -man coverage, um, and and we're gonna grab uh, cover zero blitz, dime one four six, and we're gonna go over DB steam. Now because of the alignment of the blitz, and because of everything that they're doing, that specific pressure. Okay, understand this. That specific pressure. You'll see this right here. Right, and let's say in a perfect world you're going to see something like this. They're obviously going to put this guy in man coverage here. They might take this guy uh, out of these backers, and they're going to put Vilma in a deep blue, and then they're going to use her right here. And to show this, we're just going to put him on a hook. They're going to shade coverage outside and over top. Basic man blitz. It's a good man blitz, but it's a basic one. Watch the slant route on this play. Snap, throw, dot. You're beating man on the left side 
the spacing of the formation necessitates it's going to be hard to get their user out there to be able to stop that slant. That slant is, is so critical to your success. Understanding slant routes is really, really vital this year. Because slant routes, in my opinion, are the most versatile route on your offense. They're the route that you must make go. Well, we've got, we've got the slant from Devontae Adams. And then we have this nice little route to Robert Tunyon that is going to work really well as well. So I want to show you this again, and I just want to show you, um, you know, how quick everything really hits. So you're looking to your wheel routes, right? Well, look at the right side. I could throw that. I could throw that hot. I could throw that quick. That's a quick five. That's a quick six, quick seven. Now, obviously, you know, if you're facing something like this, heavy man pressure, um, look to Robert Tunyon. He's going to be, oftentimes you'll be surprised at how wide open he's going to be. The point of this video and what I hope you take away from what I what I tried to show you today is I hope you understand that in order to beat the blitz, at least in my opinion, number one, yes, you do have to have max protection schemes. But more but another thing that you have to be able to do is you have to be able to throw the ball hot. Especially from five wide. Because in five wide, what five wide is going to do is it forces that opening to happen super, super fast. And what these wheel routes are going to do for you is if they're running hard flats, you're going to take that 10 yards all day long. They they can't, you know, the best blitz, honestly, from, from Dime, and we'll cover this real quick. Let's say you get a call like this, right? Um, you get something like this, okay? The best way to handle this, in my estimation, in my opinion, you've got your you've got your outside stuff, right? Now let's take a look here. Now let me audible to um, let, let's audible to Hawks under, okay? Now most of the time I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't say, well, we don't even need to do that. We'll just go to inside a wheel, and all we're going to do with Devonte Adams now is we're going to put him on a fade. Watch this against cover two. It gets it get it kind of gets out there, right? Um, right there, the the uh, window closed a little bit later than I had thought it would. But if they blitz that slot corner, obviously they know that, you know, if you really, you're going to, that's the weakness is they've taken that corner and they put him in a blitz. And so, you know, obviously you have all kinds of things. You've been, if you've been throwing that slant a lot and they start throwing zones out there, okay, do something like this right here. And hit them right up the street, right at the seam, and, and, and you got that option. If they're manning people up out of cover two to try to take away that streak route, right, which is a possibility. Because I tell you, I'm telling you, you'll see this. You'll see this blitz. You've got to be able to adjust to it. And, um, and, and what you'll see is you'll see something like this. I guarantee you'll see something like that right there. If you play Madden long enough, you will face this coverage. This play. And that slant's going to kill it. That slant's going to kill it. I might need to wait a little, maybe a split second longer, but that slant will kill it because they, they've basically vacated the middle of the field. They've said, you can have the middle of the field, you know, um, on the left side, but we're not going to give you anything on the right side. I, and they're going to probably run this to the short side, so they're going to flip the formation so that you, you can't run a flood concept on the back side to be able to get the ball out quick, right? Step up in the pocket and hit your slant. I'm telling you right now, the slant on the left side, from you face out of five wide, whether it's Mike mid blitz, I think this is a much harder defense, 9-1-4-6, to beat the mid blitz. Um, you know, obviously, if you if you know it's mid blitz, if you want to, you could do something like this right here um, to get these crossing routes. This is, you know, primarily for man-to-man -man coverage, um, but this is going to put a lot of stress on them. So, their, their, their man coverage assignments will, will switch and all that stuff. Now, again, everything else we've been saying is true. And if you wanted to, um, if, if you wanted to, you could run a motion. You could motion Tunyon over if you want. I mean, there's so much you could do, right? Um, having, double, having double wheels, I think, is key. I think double wheels is really critical. That quick route to Tunyon is good for man blitz, for zone blitz. You know, I mean... Most of the time, uh, from Dime 146, if they're going to blitz you, um, 
you you've got to be able to hit your quick stuff, your, your quick reads. If you if you can't hit your quick read, um, and you got to hit it in tight windows, you know you you got to hit it in tight windows. But what you'll see here is those wheel routes are going to pull the flats out of the way. If they're not, even if they're in cover two, if they're this is straight cover two, and I just want to show you this back side on the left side here, right there, the window's still open because of where the linebacker is. Now, if the linebacker moves, well, let me show you that real quick. You know, let's say they do that, right? Because this is this is going to give them a little bit better alignment against a backer on that left side. So the linebacker is going to move out. Watch this. See how he plays it? Now you're taking your backside route to Tunyon. Okay? Because also understand that for the blitz to work, they've got to use or somebody in the middle. One of the two linebackers they have to use are them. So, you know, you're, you're going to be able to do that. And again, at the right time, you go to something like this play right here. And this is cover two sink, and they're blitzing off that left edge. And now, oh, I've got a seam read against cover two. So that's a little bit about how you beat Bound 146, uh, beat the blitz, you know, beat the man blitz, beat cover two zone, um, cover three zone blitz, cover two zone blitz. I think those are a couple of the best cover three and cover two zone blitzes you're going to face. Um, and that's how to beat it. So you, you've got to be able to understand your hot reads, your hot throws, what's going to be open quick. If you can understand that, you're going to be successful. That's how you beat the cover three, all, all those different zone blitzes in the game. Real quick, again, I just want to remind you, um, we do live stream every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern. If you want to be most up to date about those streams and really every, everything going on in my channel, um, I'd highly encourage you to join our Discord. That's where we kind of, that's kind of like our channel hub where we talk about in 24 seven, um, get your questions answered, all that stuff. Real quick, one last thing though, make sure if you haven't joined my text message membership, you do that today. You're not going to want to miss this U trips formation that I'm going to break down today. Um, it is really, really effective. And I think it's probably, um, I think it might be one of the best base formations in Madden 21 straight out of our new England defense, uh, offensive guide. So if you haven't gotten the new England guide yet, um, this will give you kind of a sample of what is in the new England guide. It's not going to give everything away, but it's going to give, uh, it's going to give you kind of a good starting point to understanding how deep the rabbit hole goes um, within the New England Patriots playbook, which I believe is the best offensive playbook in Madden NFL 21. So if you haven't gotten the guide yet, that link is in the description. And if you have any questions about Madden between now and our stream tonight, go ahead and shoot me a text message. Our next YouTube video um, will be up here in just a moment uh, as well. It's going to go live at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So thanks for your time, guys. Be sure to join the Discord. Text me, and we'll see you tonight.